Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to use Blender for absolute beginners and welcome to episode 3. So this episode what we're going to look at is we'll look at some textures, some materials, we'll also look at a couple of different views that we can have in Blender and then finally we'll look at how to export whatever we've created and put it into a game engine to Unity. So over here on your properties panel You'll notice at the top we have a couple of different um, things we can change but at the moment what we want to look at is this one just here which is material if you can't quite see that far you just may need to drag out your properties panel a little bit so now what we need to do is click on new so you'll notice here we have these options looking like this but what we're going to do at this point is change our renderer so if you remember in the first episode we set it to blender render what we're going to do now is we're going to play around with the cycles render so if you select this up here cycles render you notice this changes and what we need to do is click on use nodes i won't go into too much detail about nodes because we won't be dealing with them uh, in at least in this episode we probably will further down the line but what this essentially means is it's much easier for us to add in a texture onto our object so here where we've got color we can if we wanted to set uh, a color any one of here but if we click this little option next to color and then down here in the texture menu we just need to tick or rather select image texture and then you'll notice down we have the little open so click open and I have this wood texture which I've got from uh, Google which is commercially free to use you can use any texture you want, but if you want this one, I'll put a link to it on the website. If you head over there, download some assets, you can get it just there. So I'm going to use that. Nothing will look like it has changed much at this point, but it has. So don't worry too much about it. So what we need to do now is let's change how Blender looks for us so we can play around a little. So up here in the info panel, where it says default, uh, the little option next to it, should uh, drop down and you'll be able to see a little list. So that default represents the default view of what we have right now. So let's go on to, let's say, UV editing. And you'll notice it changes. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply this texture to this object. It's fairly easy to do. So down here in the left hand side, click on browse and then just select wood texture and we should see it just there perfect in this window over here right click and then make sure you are in edit mode so you may need to press tab just to get it looking like this then press a to select all your vertices make sure all your vertices are selected not just a couple of them because it can go a little bit wrong now what we need to do is we need to unwrap so down here click mesh then click on UV unwrap and then go to unwrap and we can see that it has changed all this orange that's a good thing it means that it is unwrapping as we would want it to so what um how can I explain what it is UV is like a method that Blender uses for wrapping a 2D image around a 3D image or 3D model that we've constructed that's all it really is so to see this in various different views, and you can see it's still in the wireframe, and notice that we haven't got this top object, we've only got this one object selected right now. Down here we can see like what appears to be a little white orb, and all that's shown at the moment is solid. So let's change it to texture, and we should be able to see that our object is now textured. That looks great. Not perfect, but it's the principle of how this is applied. So more complex objects can be a bit weirder to texture, but it's nothing to worry about too much. So I'm going to go back up here and go back to my default view. And you'll notice that the texture looks like it has disappeared, but don't worry, it hasn't. You've got that little option down here again, and we can select texture, material, or if we wanted to, let's select rendered. Now what happens here is Blender renders the actual object and I'm just panning around it at the moment but it renders it nicely 
So that's how we would want it to be. So let's head back to um, the solid view, which is fine. So now let's click on our lid and let's create the same material for that. So it's the same process. We can click new and because we're already in cycles render, we can select um, the image texture and uh, we can select this little option here to then select the same wooden texture. Now, just to make sure everything works nicely, it's always best just to head back into that UV editing mode. We have our image there, so we don't need to look for it again. We just need to go to uh, edit mode and press A and make sure all our vertices are selected. Go to mesh, UV unwrap and unwrap. You can see that looks fine. Another way of getting this is just a little keyboard shortcut is U. So if you press the U key, you'll be able to get to that UV mapping uh, menu straight away. So now let's head back to our default view. Um, one thing I must say as well, don't ever be afraid to explore these different um, options you have here because you can always get back to the default view. So if we go to this one, for example, it does look different and we'll get into this at some point, but you can always get back to default just by going there. It's real simple, so don't ever be put off by that. So now if we go back to here and go to rendered, we should see both of our objects are rendered. So let's go back to solid and let's save our project there. Yes, we want to save over. So now what we'll do is let's export our object. So make sure we click on scene here. We don't want to delete. Um, one thing I um, should mention is we'll get all the objects up here, but we don't need to worry about it for now. So let's edit, uh, let's tab out of edit mode. Okay, so file and export. And let's export this, oops, I've gone off it there, as an FBX. I generally use FBX as I find it's the most, not well, maybe it is the most common format, but it's it, it's easy to use, I should say. So let's export as an FBX, and I'm just going to call this jvblender.fbx, something really simple, and click on export FBX. Now, at this point, you can use pretty much any game engine uh, you want, whether it's Unity, Unreal, Cry Engine, um, not too sure about Game Guru, to be honest, because I'm not entirely sure how that would uh, import this particular thing, because I think the file format, the extension is a bit different. Uh, but in Unity, I just have this uh, little project, and I'm going to drag and drop this particular object into Unity. And then I'm going to drag and drop into the scene. So we can see that is what we've created in Blender. Now, you'll notice that the texture hasn't applied itself. One thing to note with uh, Blender itself, when importing objects, it doesn't necessarily bring the texture over. It brings over the UV mapping, so if we were to apply the texture, it would still work. But if you were, let's say, bringing in .blend file, it doesn't quite work in that sense. I think there is a way of getting around it, but I'm not going to go too much into it because this isn't a Unity tutorial. So regardless, in this case, if uh, the texture doesn't apply when we bring it over, it's gone a bit, uh, if the texture doesn't work, all you would need to do is just drag and drop the texture into your preferred game engine. And then you would just apply that texture to the object itself. So we've got the actual container, so we can drag and drop onto the container and then drag and drop onto the lid. So we can see once that's done, the object we've created is fairly decent. So we can see it is very pretty much the same as what we have. Obviously the colouring is a bit different, but that's because the lighting is obviously different. So we can see it's the same object. So that is how you export into a game engine. So make sure you uh, save your project. I like to save my project as often as I can because sometimes things can go wrong and things will go wrong, to be honest. 
So best thing to do is play around. And if you need to get different textures, remember the different objects in the scene can be textured differently. If, for example, we wanted to put a metallic texture on this top object, we could have done that. It's just a case of changing the texture. For example, when you're in a UV editing window, uh, you would have another texture here, metal, so you would select that and it would change over here. As I say, don't be afraid to check out all these different uh, options up here. So next episode, uh, we'll probably take a look further into Blender, some more different options, different things to do. Uh, we'll probably start looking at doing animations as well. The good thing about animations on these particular objects is that, for example, if you're using Unity, they import into Unity quite nicely. So if, let's say, we had this thing um, suddenly fall onto the floor, then it would bring into Unity and uh, probably Unreal uh, quite well. So, guys, until the next episode, text your objects, build your objects. Yeah, by now, I'm sure you guys have probably picked up the, at least the very basics of Blender. It's easy to use. It just gets a little bit of getting used to. So, until the next episode, guys, thank you very, very much for watching.